Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Ito po si Benji Chidora at welcome po sa month end July 31, 2023 edition ng The Stock Market Today. 147 days na lang Pasko na. Una po ang ating headlines. Ito po ay mula sa Business World. July inflation likely eased below 5%. DOF orders agencies to address overspending. Inflation in right direction but Philippines faces persistent upside risk. Sa corporate news naman, ang pinaka-news po natin dito ay ito. No? PSE adds Figaro Siri trust lag to sector indices. So, ang mangyari po dito, si Figaro, si Siri at si Raslag ay ma-i-include sa kanilang sectoral indices. So, sa services sector, sa the PSE is adding Bell Corp, DFNN, Digiplus Interactive and Harbor Star Shipping at matatanggal po si Trans-Pacific Broadband International. Sa property naman, mapapasama po si Sirit, Evergotesco, and MRC Allied. Matatanggal naman si DM Wenceslao and Primex Corp. Dito naman sa Industrial Index, Si Shakey's Pizza and Rojas and Company ay matatanggal, samantalang ang papalit ay si Raslag and Figaro. Figaro will also be included in the PSE's Dividend Yield Index, replacing Sirit. Additionally, Lepanto Consolidated Mining will be taken out of the Mining and Oil Index. So, In order to qualify for the PSE and sectoral indices inclusion, yung listed firm must be among the top companies in terms of liquidity and market cap. And it should also have a free float level of at least 20% of the outstanding shares. Meanwhile, si Hinebra San Miguel and PNB, dito naman tayo sa mid-cap index, ano? will take the slots of Ayala Land Logistics so ALHC or ALHI and Petron Corp. And uh, the changes to the new composition sector indices are set to take effect on August 7. So kung titignan po natin si Siri, tataas po yan. No? Meron yan taas, yan tumataas siya. Pero not much, no? si Figaro naman. Okay, slightly up din si F FCG. So, yan po ang ating main news. And tingnan po natin ang inyong comment. Sabi po ni Winbar, Good day po, Sir Ben. Salamat po sa review. Pa-review po ng SHLP at SGP. Baka you mean SL SHLPH o sa Shell Philippines. Ano? Baka pwede tayo makaposisyon. More power to your... YouTube channel and God bless. Salamat po, Winbar. Gagawin po natin to. And then, si Teo Mitermat Camtech. Yes, yes, yes. Go rewards. <laughs> Very bullish si Teo Meter Camtech. Okay. So, umpisa na po natin. SHLPH. Si S. Shell. Nako. Pababa po si Shell. Actually, I already drew a parallel channel from January to August sorry July 31 ano yan po so it's on a downward trend at makikita niyo po yung black line yung black indicator po natin yan po yung long term indicator no ay balik natin yan nasa itaas po siya eh, way above actually din naman way way above but it's above the candlestick indicating a bearish trend. So, yan po ang una kong tinitignan pagka moving averages. Pangalawa po, yung medium, which is the the blue line, and that is the medium term indicator. So, on the long and medium term, pababa po siya, but on the short term, ganun din. Mukhang sideways moving, but sa akin po, it has to break 
this resistance level at uh, 1491 eh. ano so 1523 sorry ang dapat niyang ma-break ano 1523 or 1520 more or less para makita po natin na pa-reverse na po yung trend no samantalang ang support nasa 1384 so it has been moving that way it, in fact the 52 year at 52 week low is 14 ano and na reach po yan noong uh, sometime July July 11 July 12 po niya na reach yung 14 na yan so ngayon ang 52 week high niya is 2225 pero kung titingnan po natin ang history nito so it reached as high as 23 or 24 pesos eh itong shell so yung value niya halos half na no and before the pandemic shell was doing taas dito eh nasa 79 78 79 pesos oh bumagsak ng ganito no so i really don't know the history of shell ano tinitingnan ko lang yung chart and it went as high as 79 probably 80 pesos 79 nakikita ko dito eh. Ayan. so it has been a long downward trend ano for for shell and it's still moving downwards hopefully nag bottom out na po ito itong si shell no kasi it has been lurking at this level 14 pesos since the beginning of uh, middle of june ano nag oversold nga siya during that time eh. so yan yan po yung oversold level po niya and there's another one here but The trend is, the movement, the momentum is downwards. SGP also, tingnan natin si SGP. Ito, meron pa tayong pag-asa dahil may dividendo ito. Nagbibigay po ito ng dividendo. So, consistent po ito magbigay ng dividendo. Itong si SGP. So, nagbigay po siya dito noong July 21, 17.37 centavos. Uh, consistent po siya dahil ang um, minamatch po niya dito ay yung kanyang bond, bond investment. Ano? So, meron siyang bond investment na nagbibigay ng dividendo sa kanya. In turn, pinapasa niya po yan, part of it, to us. Yan po. So, hindi po kayo talo dito kay SGP, but, pero the price is kind of low uh, right now. No? So, it has been moving down. And in fact, it has reached probably the bottom here on May 30. So now it is uh, trying to recover at yung short and medium term indicator nagko-cross na po. Samantalang yung long term indicator ay nandito pa sa itaas. Ano? Nasa long term is 9.48 or almost 9.50. Yan po si SGP. So, kung titingnan po natin, ang tingin ko po dyan, ang pinaka-resistance level, next resistance, nandito po sa 10, 10.62. Dito po. And the support, the nearest I can find, is dito po sa 8.70. Or malapit po dyan, ano, 8.33. Yan po, ang pinaka-nearest support ni SGP. And then, si SMPH naman. By the way, si SMPH, tignan po natin, ang most active stock po ngayon ay ICT followed by SMPH, then BDO. So, yung market activity, ang all share index went down also 0.29%. Yung PSE index is also well kind of moving sideways let's put up our indicators yan ano parang roller coaster siya pero sideways po ang pinaka movement ni PSE index right now so down 33.79 points so analysts expect the index to move sideways in the next few days although nagkaroon po ng increase or rate hike po si Fed Reserve no, sa US nag-increase po siya kasi hindi matame yung inflation eh. 
sa US. Pero tayo, mukhang kontrolado na, no? So, more or less, kung titignan po natin ang PSA side track lang po tayo. Several months na po itong sideways ang galaw, eh. So, starting po here. This here. Yan. Sideways na po yung galaw niya, no? Starting February until today, July. Yan. So, uh, the resistance is at 6,700. Pero the an analysts would say na up to 6,750 po yung uh, resistance level niya. And the support consistently po, nandito po siya sa 6,300 almost 6,400 po ang support ni PSE. And it will continue to move sideways in the following days. Okay, so nasa na tayo? SMPH, ano? So si SMPH, yan, ganun din, ano? It has been moving downwards in the past few days. And uh, if we will follow the movement from this date, uh, February or March to July 31, so, pababa pa po ang kanyang movement, pero yung news po natin or yung research po ng BDO SEC would say that the prospects for properties are good this year. So, support is here at 3130, samantalang ang resistance nandito po sa 3416 or 3415 more or less. Yun po ang support and resistance ng SMPH. Then we go to ICT, the most active stock today. Now, it has been moving pretty much within the range of the support of 196 to 197 and the resistance of 218. Ano? So, more or less, nasa resistance level na po ito. And it has been moving that way since January no January po yung kanyang movement na yan. So, in fact, I can even draw a Darbus box here, pero nadraw ko na po ito. Eh, no? So, more or less yan po yung range, trading range po ni International Container Terminal. And from this point to this point, it's about 20 points. 20, 22 to 24 points difference or 24 peso difference. And you can make that if you trade the stock, then yan po yung pinaka-trading range niya. You buy on support, sell on resistance. Kikita po kayo dyan. However, fundamentally, if you'll take a look at ICT, si ICT po, ang fundamentals po niya, right now nasa 217, ano? Pero yung fundamentals po niya, ay kung, kung titignan po natin, Okay, meron siyang buy rating with a target price of 258 or more or less a 20% upside. So, yan po ang ating report sa stock market. By the way, again, pag-pray nyo naman yung aking cousin si Mari. Uh, get well soon, Mari. We're praying for your recovery. matagal takal na rin po siyang merong sakit. Kaya uh, we're asking, or I'm asking for prayers. Uh, for the dad, for his dad and um, her sister and uh, a lot of friends are praying for her. Get well soon, Mari. Maraming po salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik. Hanggang sa muli, stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.